right? Now, here's the thing. Remember, from the start of this story, I've told you guys everything. That's I've told you guys sensitive information, right? There are certain people who know all these things that I've told you. And the reason why I'm telling you now is because you can't use them against me anymore, you know? Now, now, remember, I'm, I'm a hustler. I think like a hustler. So, this childhood friend of mine, he's there in the part zero and part one. This childhood friend of mine, I was no longer staying with him in the same uh, residence, uh, student rec rec residence as before, but we, we, we were close. This nigger comes to me, right? He comes to me and he's like, boy, by the way, one thing me and my roommate and my best friend we had in common was failing. Ever since we went to varsity, we were all failing. That's one thing we had in common, all of us. Betuel included. Betuel was failing. Kuto was failing. Fosh was failing. Everybody was failing. The only guy who was passing as part of FBK group was Ponto only in varsity. Now, this best friend of mine comes to me and he's like, boy, I'm like, yes, boy. He's like, you can see that your music things, they're not working. I'm like, yeah, hi, fuck music. That's not my thing. And he's like, and we need to make money in Phanom because fixing computers won't make you rich. We must get rich because my sorry, my family told me that if I don't do well this time in school, I'm gonna go back home. And I'm like, you're right, boy, because let now if I don't do well in 2016, I'm gonna go back home and it's over for us. It's completely over for us. So he's like, ah, don't worry, boy, we'll find a way. So my best friend. He's the kind of a guy who thinks like a hustler. Then I'm the kind of a guy who acts like a hustler. So that was the difference. So he had the theory and then I was doing the practicals. So this guy came to me and he's like, boy, there's this guy. There's this guy on social media who's doing this investments. I'm like, investments? And he's like, yeah. Uh, there's these coins that you 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 buy on 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 Facebook. You buy these coins, and then after buying them, after three months you get money. I'm like, hey boy, is this for real? And he's like, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I this thing might be a scam. Now the coins that I'm referring to, you know them. Some of you guys might know them. I'm referring to peep coins. Uh, if you can remember, there were coins which were called peep coins back around in 2016, somewhere there. Uh, I've only found out about them during that time. So, peep coins. Uh, they were starting as low as 100 rands. It's like you buy these coins for 100 rands and then after a month you get 1,000. I'm like, eh, boy, Musa, I'm going to get rich. Uh, and I, he's like, yeah, boy. And I keep in mind, I have 15,000. I have 15,000 in my bank account. My best friend doesn't know that I have money. The 15,000 I'm supposed to pay school fees. And I did research about it. I went on social media. I checked these people who are doing these things. It seemed so legit. People are talking about it. It's trending. And I'm tempted. I want to take 15,000 to buy these coins so that I can make 1 million after 12 months. Remember my words. 15,000 to buy these coins so that after 12 months I can make 1 million. And then after making the 1 million, it's my calculations by the way. After making the 1 million, I actually take uh, 15,000, 20,000 and I pay back my mom. And I'm like, mom, you and I, we are out of each other's lives. Now I'm rich. Uh, I don't want your school anymore. Now I'm rich. I'm my own man. You know? It's an idea. But another part of me says, boy, don't do it. Another part of me says, boy, you have to do it because that's the only way you're going to get rich. 
coming to think of it, use I want you guys to use common sense. Can you invest 100 rands and get 1,000 without understanding how the money came about? Because there, you don't do anything. You buy these things, you keep them, and then you're going to sell them at a higher price. Literally, you don't work for anything, you know? I was like, hey, can I invest my 15,000 and make 1 million? And I'm like, because there was a table. Remember, there was a table. There was a table which shows you, or if you buy this, you can sell them for... So I was there. I was like, yeah, I can become a millionaire very fast. Now, my friend, on the other hand, he's busy buying those coins. He's buying them. Now, I haven't bought any. After a, a week or so, he comes back to me and says, boy... I'm like, yes. You see those coins that I told you about? It's like they are working, ne? I'm like, yes. But, hey, those ones take time. Those ones take time. You will get rich after a long time because you must wait for the coins to get value. They call it cryptocurrency. So that's how I, was, I, I, I entered into the foreign exchange market. I want you guys to understand, Jorge, I didn't just enter into trading and all that. No. And just listen you'll hear and he's like boy i'm like yes there's this new one it's like this guy is this guy he had a source for getting this quick investment scheme things which will make you money quick and then you bring them to me and he's like boy there's this thing that i know which is called triple m i'm like triple m i'm sure you guys remember triple m and like he's like, yeah, you see, comparing triple M with this coin thing, triple M is much better. I'm like, yeah. So now this coin thing, I've never really fallen in love with it that much because I never really understood how it used to work per se. You know? So I was loving the triple M idea more. You remember triple M? You remember it very well. And on that table. They're like, you invest this much, you get this much after two months. You have invest this much, you invest 1,000, you get 6,000 after a month. You invest 10,000, you get 300,000 after six months. You invest 100,000, you get 10 million after one year. Such, such things, you know, such, there was a nice table. Remember, I didn't invest in the PIP coin thing. I haven't invested in the triple M thing. Now, the triple M thing seemed, seemed more legit than anything else that was before i even knew about forex that was before i even knew about it it was one person who used to come with these scams to my to my face and i would analyze them and i would look at them and i think the only reason why i was able to go through because i didn't know what was gonna work and what was not going to work was that a part of me i'm still a hustler wherever people say we can make money i'm there wherever you understand it was just my nature whenever they say there's quick money i'm there triple m i called my mom i'm like mommy she says yes son i'm like Esh, you see you're still struggling with school fees ne? i've actually paid the school fees money by the way you're still struggling with the school fees there is an investment that i know that you can invest money in and you can be able to pay my school fees and then she said tell me more about it i'm like it's called triple m mommy so i want you to bring to give me at least one thousand or two thousand rents so that i can invest in this thing and then after three months or six months we're gonna make like fifteen thousand or twenty thousand or even thirty thousand I, I i forgot the table how it used to work but i think it will be very relevant if i look for the table wait let me look for the table it's there on google so that you can you can understand and remember how much was i supposed to make you know now i'm telling my mom about this thing and my mom loves money so she was actually interested but she was skeptical as to whether this thing is legit or not so let me google the triple m table i will tell you how much they were promising us now i want you guys to learn Hori, there is nothing for free you must just use your common sense so triple m 
uh, I, I actually got the table right now on Google. Né? It says that uh, where is where is it? Uh, oh, okay. Triple M. It says that uh, if you invest, uh, if you invest two hundred rands, if you invest two hundred rands, two hundred rands in twelve months, in one year, you will get twenty five thousand. Ne? If you invest five hundred rands in one year, you'll get sixty four thousand. If you invest one thousand in one year, you'll get hundred and twenty nine thousand. If you invest two thousand in one year, you'll get two hundred and fifty nine thousand. If you invest five thousand rands in one year, you'll get six hundred and fifty thousand. If you invest ten thousand in one year, you'll get one point three million. You see. 15,000, you get 1.9 million. 20,000, you get 2.5 million. And, and, and so forth. 50,000, you get 6 million. 6 to 7 million. You see? So I told my mom that in, give me at least between 1,000 and 2,000. And then I was looking for to invest for at least like 6 months. So with 1,000 in 6 months, I was going to get 12,000. And then 2,000 with 6 months, I was going to get 22,000. Right? Those are the returns. It's investment. Triple M, you remember it very well. We are we are all victims of this thing. Now, my mom agreed that boy, I'm gonna give you two thousand rents. Please invest in triple M. Right? So that uh, after six months or maybe one year, uh, I can have enough money to pay to finish off your school fees. On top of the 15,000 that you already paid, which in reality, I never paid that 15,000. I never paid it, right? Now, uh, my mom gave me the 2,000 rands. I think she was actually, I think she actually took a loan bigger than what she gave me because she had money at that time. But I, I, I believe it was a loan. It was part of the loan. So out of the 2,000 that she gave me, I took 500 and I spent it on my girl. You see this girl, ne? I used to sacrifice a lot for her. And then instead, I've invested 1,500 in this triple M thing. Ne? I've invested 1,500 in this triple M thing. Now, the sad part about it. Now, I want you guys to understand. Triple M was working at that time here's how it works it's a pyramid scheme it's illegal right what happens is that you join but the money that you join with you are giving previous people who joined before you and then for you to get paid more people must join after you so at that time there were scandals on television a checkpoint was doing an episode about it the government was warning people that this is a scam stay away from triple m so people were panicking Imagine this happened a week after I've invested my money. And then jiggy jiggy ah triple M is falling. People are no longer getting paid because you only get paid when more people are joining. So when people are not joining, you will not get paid. You know? Ah manje, ah my 1.5 was gone. I felt like crying. Then I called my mom. I told her, ah mommy, ah that thing was a scam gone our money is gone my mom was worried but she said it's fine at least you tried so our a part of me was glad for out of the 2000 that my mom gave me to invest i ate 500 so that gave me hope that okay it's fine at least i ate 500 uh, i've only lost 1.5 and i still have 15000 so looking at the brighter picture and then my i told my friend i'm like i boy first you came with this peepcoin thing I didn't invest, I didn't lose money in it, but people were starting to, to, to lose money in it. People were not getting money in that thing as well. And then you told me to invest in triple M. I invested in triple M, I didn't get paid. It turns out it's a scam. Because here's the thing, we didn't have information about this. We didn't have information about this. So there was no way we could know whether this thing is a scam or not there was only way one way to try to, to find out i mean i mean hustlers get hurt out of practicals you know you must you must do actual practicals so that you can learn so from that point i learned from that point i learned that you know what see me investing in anything kill me 
See me investing, kill me. My 1.5 was gone. And then, my friend, you see this guy? I, ho I owe him so much. I owe him more than money. He came back again for with, with the third thing now. Third investment scheme now, apparently. He said, boy, I'm like, yes. Uh, I know you lost money in Triple M and I know I lost money in the Pipcoin thing that I was trying and people lost money in both Pipcoin and Triple M. Uh, so there's this thing again that I want us to do. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. you know, there's a time whereby you get tired of scams. Like you literally get tired. When a person tells you, yo, there's this, you're like, hey, hey, hey not today, Satani, not today. That was my response to him. And then he said, ah, I'm Fanaka, this thing works for real. I'm like, yeah, it works for real. I'm, he's like, yeah. So to show that it works for real, I'm going to join it first. Now, the thing that he was talking about was foreign exchange market. Now, that was Forex. Forex trading. The thing that makes people not sleep even today, celebrities, whenever they see forex traders, they go mad because they don't understand how much, how they, how can they stop us? You know, uh, that is my industry. You can't tell me anything about this industry. And regardless of how educated you are, I don't care how educated you are. I'm the practical of forex. When I, you know the theory, you know forex out of theory. I'm the practical of forex. He introduced that thing to me. At that time, I was skeptical. I didn't like, I didn't want to hear anything with Forex or investing. The same way people don't want to hear anything with Forex. I was once one of you guys. Keep in mind, that's just the truth. Because I was tired of scams just like you guys are tired of scams right now as we speak. I didn't want anything to do with it. Now, my boy, uh, he, he went on social media and he found this guy, right? He found this guy uh, who was based in Senten. He was based in Senten. He was running this Forex classes. And then my boy, he joined. He paid about 2.5. It was 2,500. He paid for the classes before me. Before me. Before I could even be in this thing. And then uh, after that, he started attending classes. He was going to Senten, attending Forex classes. And then whenever you'd come back, you'd tell me about it. And I was not really interested in, in listening to his stories because I, sorry, I was tired of scams, people. Lena, I was tired. Just like you are tired now. I was very tired. I said, ah, boy, this thing is for real. Is this thing for real? And one time I, I saw that, you know what, uh, the way I love my girlfriend, it's like I'm going to end up spending all the money that I have, like the entire 15000 I didn't want to find myself in a situation whereby, sorry, I've actually eaten 20000 with a girl, which was supposed to be for my school fees. So I, one way or the other, I knew, a part of me knew that I was not going to pay school fees. That's a fact. Number two, a part of me knew that I had to do something about it. I had to do some, I had to invest in something. It didn't matter what, I had to start a business, I had to, to, to invest in something. Then when he was busy telling me about it, I started falling in love with it slowly. But the first thing that I told myself was that I'm going to do research about this thing, right? I'm going to do research. Now I went on social media and I searched Forex traders and then I found them. I found top dogs, you know? Unfortunately, I won't call them by the names, but out of respect purposes, out of respect purposes, I'm going to call their names. Out of respect purposes. Uh, I found Andy Lemaisela. I still respect him even today. I found Prince Mazibuku. He still has my respect. I found Cashflow. I still respect him. I, I found Ref Wayne. I still respect him. I found Sandy Lechezi. I still respect him. Uh, so just to name a few so those were the forex gurus that i found at that time of which is the main reason why even today i can never say i'm competing with any of them 
That's why even today I'm doing me. I'm always being myself, you know? I'm always being myself. But as for these small boys who came after me, these small boys who came after me in the industry, they can't tell me anything. So shout out to, to, the, the, to the gurus because the truth, the truth is that there was no single day whereby I was not, uh, I was, I was, I was not going through their walls. I was going through their social media timelines almost every day just to find motivation in this thing. You know, I don't think if they were not there, regardless of what people say, fuck what people say, because now people are saying these things about me now. So fuck what people say. One thing those guys taught me is, is, is that you can never give up on your dream. So shout out to them. I've been stalking them almost every day. Almost every day, stalking them. You know, Andy Lemaisela, I would see his videos, trading, making 100,000. I'm like, how does the guy, how does this, okay, I'm not sure if it was Andy Le or it was Prince Mazibuku. Actually, I think it was Prince, no, it was Prince Mazibuku before Andy Le, yeah. He used to make like $27,000, 300000 And I would check it on Google. It will be like 300000 I'm like, ah! And, I, and I, remember, with people, to show that you are making money, people need to see something. So I would check his lifestyle. He's driving a nice car, staying in a nice house. And on the other ha ha side, people are saying, Forex is a scam, Forex is a scam. And I'm like, ah, man, fuck people. Fuck what people say. I'm going for this thing. So I have found motiv motivation in, in those guys. Uh, shout out to them. For, for keeping the industry alive, even though some of them have retired. Uh, but the truth of the matter is that they've created a path for traders like me. You see, uh, that's why nobody can ever tell me anything even today. If you don't support or love my industry, fuck you. I'm saying it now, right now, fuck you. So shout out to them for opening the path for people like us. Therefore, I believe that I'm, I've also opened a path for upcoming traders in the industry. You know, I've opened, uh, I, I've done that. I believe that I've played my part. Now, a time came for me to trade Forex, right? A time came for me to trade Forex now. Now, I had two options. Option number one was to look for somebody to teach me how to trade right but problem at that time was that uh you know there's nothing for free right uh those guys were charging they were charging like about five thousand or so so i had a choice to take five thousand pay for classes learn how to trade and then after that take ten thousand and trade with it you know but at the same time i'm like you know what Especially a uh, Ref Wayne. I've seen his pictures before. This guy was poor before. But slowly he developed and transformed himself into the millionaire or the billionaire that he is today, right? I'm like, I can do this. I'm going to use these guys to motivate myself to do this, right? So I didn't pay for, for, for any classes, by the way. I didn't pay for any classes, but I was learning each and every day from these guys. By just looking at their pictures, I was learning. Listening to their videos, I was learning. Making notes, motivating myself. You know, what I'm trying to say to you is that it's not a must for you to pay anyone to teach you how to trade. If you want to learn how to trade, you can do it on your own. It all, it's all in your mind, honestly. You can do it on your own, Right? Because nobody can actually make you successful. And at the same time, I was asking myself, Hori, why don't these guys teach us how to trade for free? Because they are making money already. But me being me today, I can reassure you, for as long as you are not fucking there for me when I was poor, I'm not going to give you anything for free. I was alone. You must be alone as well. There is nothing for free. Nothing for free. So at that time, I didn't understand why these guys don't they teach us for free. But 
me going through the experiences that I've went through alone. Keep in mind, when you lose money in Forex, you lose money alone. Nobody cares. But as soon as you make profit, everybody is on your back. Teach me how to trade. Uh, teach us for free because you're making money. Fuck you, bro. Where the fuck were you when I was blowing accounts alone? Having sleepless lives, lying to my parents all these years. Where the fuck were you? You are nowhere to be found. Now that I'm making money, you are here. Fuck you, dog. Fuck you. You can say whatever you want to say. You can go to wherever you want to go. Fuck you. I ain't going to teach you shit for free. There's nothing for free. Even if I make 100 billion, you can never get anything for free. Never. I've learned that. It's, it's pain. It's, it's pain working through success. It's pain. And you can't share certain things with, with people. That is the pain of success. At that time, I didn't understand why. So I've opened an account i've opened an account under xm xm was the first forex broker that i've used i've actually found xm on google so i just googled top 10 forex brokers and i found xm as being a part of the list and the main mistake that i made the main mistake that i made was to enter into forex without knowledge of what i'm doing that is the first mistake that i made now, today, we have traders who look at us and they look at us. The following week, they open a trading account. They want to trade Forex. That is a mistake. You know, we have people who look at this Forex trading thing from a distance and they try it and then they fail and then they say it's a scam just because they failed. That is their mistake, you know. And I've made that mistake. So I deposited $1,000. $1,000 was equivalent to 15,000 rands at that time, according to the exchange rate. So I've opened an account on the XM and so forth. So my account was approved. Uh, looking at the calendar, uh, when I've opened the account, it was on a Friday, I think. It was on a Friday in 2016. Uh, I'm trying to get the date, but somewhere around the fourth, the second of February, that's when I I started trading forex. It was on oh, it was on the first, yeah, the first of April, 2016. That is when I've opened my forex trading account, a real account. I never traded a demo account, right? I started with a real account. That is my first mistake. That is the first mistake that I made. Trading without knowledge, not understanding what I was doing, you know, in the name of wanting to make money, in the name of wanting to be rich. Now, I've deposited $1,000. Monday, I, I remember uh, people were coming back from Moria. I remember it was Good Friday, just after Good Friday, somewhere there. On the Tuesday, the 5th of uh, April, 2016, that's when I actually started trading Forex. Now, remember, you guys, all of you guys who are watching here, you are not there. I was alone. That is why even today, I do things my way. I was alone. Always remember, nobody was there for me. None of you guys. You're only here because you know I've made it. That's just a reality. I've started uh, trading. Uh, I've read a bit that there is lot sizes, there is leverage and so forth. So I didn't really understand what I was doing. So what I did was that I would look at the market. When it goes up, I would buy. When it goes down, I would sell. You know? Now, I was using low, the lowest lot size, which is 0 0.01. Then I've seen it that with this lot size, I will not make money. So I increased my lot size without understanding the risks involved. You must always understand the risks involved when you invest your money. You will lose people. You will lose. And when you lose, you will be alone. Whether I'm your mentor or not, when you are losing, I'm, don't involve me. You must be alone. That is the truth. I was alone. Now I've seen it that this small lot sizes, I, I will not make money. So I increased my lot sizes. I went for 0 0.10 lot size 1. Now I was starting to make a bit of money. Now within two days, I've taken the account from 1,000 to 1,200 and something dollars. This simply means that I've actually made $200. Now I had an option of withdrawing my 15,000. 
right so that i can be left with 200 dollars so that i can trade with the broker's profits but I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was greedy. I wanted to make money. I wanted to, to make money so bad, right? Now, uh, Thursday, I traded, I traded. I experienced uh, a couple of losses, but they were not uh, bad. So on Friday, on Friday, there was, I'm not sure, but yeah, there was something which was happening, something which was happening fundamentally. I think, I'm not sure if it was NFP or it was a CAD which comes with NFP normally. But something was happening. So I was on a trade before. I was on lot size 2, if I remember correctly. So I was sitting on a profit, right? Sitting on a profit. So when I was sitting on a profit, one heart told me that exit before half past 2. Remember, I didn't know what time to enter, what time to exit. But I just decided to, to know what, I, I just exited. Now, after I've exited, uh, half past two came. The direction that I've exist, exited based on, which was a sell, NFP went down. Meaning that had I not exited, I would have made money, right? But I've exited. So when I see the market going down, I entered with a sell. Lot size two, sell. And then I made little profit, like $200 fast. You know, NFP or, or, or CAD, how, how it behaves. It, everything is so fast. I increased lot size to lot size 5. And then when the second minute candlestick rejected, it went up. That was the last time my account was blown. Remember, I was alone. I've always been alone. I don't owe to help any of you guys. I will help where I can. But it's not a must for me to help you guys. Always remember that. In this life thing, you are always alone. In this success journey, you are always alone. Right? No matter who you look up to, you are always alone. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, my account was wiped. It was on negative. I've lost my 15,000. I've lost the little profit that I've made. You know what I did? The first thing that I did was to turn off the laptop. I turned off the laptop. I slept. But I couldn't sleep for like almost 30 minutes. I turned on the laptop. The honest truth is... I've always thought what happened to me was a dream. I've turned on the laptop. I've opened the MetaTrader 4. The balance was zero. My money is not there. I've turned off the laptop. I thought maybe the laptop is crazy now. I've turned off, off the laptop. And I turned it on again. The balance was still zero. I, I, I've, it's like I've done it more than five times, turning it off, turning it on, thinking that there must be a mistake. There is no way I can lose 15,000 just like that in seconds. There is no way. Then I said, you know what? Today was just a dream. When I wake up tomorrow, my money will be there and then I will withdraw it and then I will go pay school fees. Now... I had mentality, a mentality that now I'm willing to pay school fees. That simply means that a part of me knew that I'm in deep shit. I slept. The following day, in the morning, first thing that I did, I turned on the laptop with excitement. I don't know who I was trying to fool. When I checked uh, the balance on my, my, my thing, it was still zero. I checked account history. It shows that I've lost money. I've contacted the broker. I'm like, I don't understand what's going on. You guys are scams. You see, which is, which, is, which is what's happening right now. Most people invest money they are not willing to lose in Forex. When they lose it, they start accusing mentors. They start accusing brokers. Where else they've actually done these activities without being emotionally ready. You know, you need to be like emotionally ready. Forex is not for weak people. Forex is not for the weak. If you know you are weak, you are emotional.
Don't trade Forex. That's a fact. Get inspired. Go sell herbal life somewhere. Don't come in the industry if you're a crybaby. This industry will teach you to be a real man at the age of 17. You will, you will think like a real man. This industry. <laughs> now it's fine. Uh, I've contacted the broker saying there must be a mistake. They told me that there is no mistake. Bro, you lost money. You increased your lot size and you lost money. And now I had to come come to life. I had to slowly come back to reality that fuck. My mother's 20,000 is gone. Even though she knows that 15,000 was supposed to, to be for, for school fees. The other 5,000, I just scammed her so that I can take my girlfriend on a vacation. And don't you guys act like saints. You've lied to your family members taking girls out with their money. So I'm not the first guy to do this.